I'm going to invite you some gentlemen. Thanks for your attendance. My name is Noel Filmer. I'm the promoter of uh, this event, Sunday Bloody Sunday. We have the Fleming Race Ball, so I will the first Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock. So, we've got, uh, I'd just like to take this time um, to introduce our boxers. Peggy, I'm in the main event. Firstly, from the United States of America, um, former World Heavyweight Title Challenger. He's uh, taken 27 bouts. Uh, one of America's premier, if not the premier, heavyweight boxer in America. He's only the biggest the current heavyweight champion in the world by Sally Klitschko. Uh, please give a big hand for Kevin. <laughs> He's a pilot on the afternoon. We're going to need some introduction to the local area here. Uh, Alex, the line of heart, very well. Very strong supporting card for the uh, six, seven, seven, five, seven, seven, five support. And uh, we've got um, we've got here former Olympian type kid also appearing on the card. His <laughs> trainer Stephen Dallin.
and tell them when to have their hands and put this fight together for the 18th. Uh, wanted to see this match as heavy anticipated to come together for the 18th. But if I'm not 100%, I'd rather cancel and feel bad like I did for the Clisco fight and live with that for three years. So, but I never canceled. Thank you. Alex, this is about your last week for five part finish on the weekend. Yeah, this is uh Kevin John on the PSP workshop. He did have a Kevin Thoughts and it's a big big step for me. So yeah. And the next step we did hopefully uh did a walk on shop. This is the uh Of course, I mean, like they say at the end of the day, you have day, you have night, you have morning, you have afternoon. They can never be two at the one time, only a time of an eclipse, but it won't be a draw. So we won't see an eclipse like that by So I don't need this to say, but um, maybe I give, I give the kid a lot of props in the world because. Even in the United States, I can't even get a legitimate heavyweight. To even step in the ring. I can't even get guys that should be, their skill level should be qualified a little more than mine. They won't step in the ring. Um, I've had my team offer money to heavyweights where I wasn't even getting paid just to get a fight to stay on the mat. These guys said no. I mean, I've actually been in the past. You know, just sat back in. Let my team put up money for the opponents, and I haven't gained nothing but a significant frame to keep me afloat above what. For this guy to actually step to the plate, which no American really would do, not one American. I mean, everybody in the world knows who Kevin Johnson is. I mean, I am a guy that you don't even have to call twice about anybody, because there's no threat to me in heavyweight division. Competition is competition. You know, it's like, it's like mixing oil and water. How good is your competition when it gets in the ring and mixes with me? I actually control that. Nobody controls me. I control that. But this guy being very uh, combative and being a true uh, student of the game as well, to actually come to the table and actually take the fight just like that, without a second doubt for the moment, he got the call from the promoter, there was no doubt. I didn't hear, okay, another three weeks for the. Couldn't stop Kevin Herrick, or is it for your career that you actually put him away before the Boston? Kevin's unbelievably quick. How, how are you going to counter that speed? Worry about his quickness. Just worry about his own importance. Worry about what's coming. Alex, similar question I asked Kevin. What what actually drives you? What motivates you? Uh, I'm a proud Australian. Proud Somali. Uh, I fight for my country. I fight for uh, my mum and dad. Well, not just that, but you know, my family. All my friends out there in the camps. Everyone's coming to Australia, and I'm telling you now, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stand, stand for what I'm doing. You ain't, ain't coming here to, to make me look um, so I'll tell you that now. Yeah. So, everybody up here is going to watch this fight. One of us is going to get knocked down. You know, I love how you put that statement the first time. <clears throat> it's beautiful. I love it. The way he put that statement the first time is exactly the way I came here, having that statement almost in my head. Like he said, one of us is getting knocked out. That's how he said it. It almost registered in my head, but my conscience couldn't register that. But for him to know that one of us, 
in his head. It means definitely he knows there's a slight chance that he can touch that force. So I like the possibility of a negative force. I love it. It's a seed that I have to make room to a beautiful power. I love that seed. Because as long as we know that for not an ounce of a second, a minute, down, a tick of a second, there's not the opportunity to fast his hands and zip something through that ass, to take your ass deep in the water and make you drown. But if I'm going to put you in shallow water and take you deep as I want to, I control that. Can nobody in the history of boxing stop speed? What are you doing? How can you do it? You've been training all day for everything in the world. But the greatest gift that God gives is untrained. It's like locking jaws with a bear. It's like slap boxing with a bear. It's like getting bit by a shark and trying to fight him back with a You can't be trained. You can train all year long, but you can't train for the fastest bear. Do you understand what that means? The fastest. That's like putting the miles up against a Ferrari. What are you doing? What are they doing at that? Go see how fast you are. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, oh, I cannot wait. Let's see which one is better. Speed or power? Which one's better? Like Barack Obama says. Like my president of the United States, my president Barack Obama says, if there's anyone who believes that power is better than speed, let me speak now. You say hello to Kevin and Obama. If there's anyone who feels that Kevin Johnson will not be the heavyweight champion of the world, go on and bring on and have four titles, maybe the three league one out there, let me speak now. If there's anyone, Democrat, Republican, small, tall, woman or child, that think I will be defeated. Speak now, because I will be peace. Peace. Well, I just, just want to say uh, to all the fans out there, uh, even Kevin Johnson's fans, um, don't miss April the 1st. It's going to be a fight, you'll never forget. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Breaking one of my rules that I've never broken in over 32 years of being on this earth. Not this, this earth, this earth. I said like Michael Speaks used to say, he never talked to right earth. <laughs> I've never broken this rule as a religious man. And as a religious man, I love my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I said I'll never break one religious rule ever. But it appears that this will be the first time in my life that I'll break one. And that's actually whooping ass on a Sunday. That's the lowest day. That's the day I don't train on. That's the day I don't commit no act of violence or nothing. But on this day, I'm sure my Jews will forgive me. Zagazan, Michelle and I. I'm sure my people in Malaysia will forgive me. And I'm sure my people in the US will forgive me. My Catholic and my Christian. But on this Sunday, I have to get the real fight. So I hope God shall forgive me and I won't commit a sin. Give me for that. Okay, right. hey, any more questions? I think that's it. Uh, hey. We'll do a fire something. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thanks.